They are, too, they are tolerant in this country. This is the problem. I mean, what? They are tolerant. They can accept, like we say, the Iron Lady. There they isn't a, a Britisher you can go and tell him that he's a son of a bitch. You go and tell him and see how tolerant he is to you. <laughs> Would you please be quiet? You had your chance to ask three questions. Now, you, why don't you line up? Why are you sitting there like a dead duck? You know? Why don't you line up there? You get your turn. You. Line up. Take your turn. In respond to Salman Rushdie's book which is Satanic Verses, Sheikh Ahmed Didat delivered a lecture on the subject, How Rushdie Fooled the West, at the Royal Albert Hall on October 1, 1989. And on this occasion, we will watch some segment of the question and answer session which is the best part of this lecture. You have the next questioner please. Would you identify yourself please? Assalamu alaikum. My name is Khalil. I am British. We say Rushdie how he fooled the West. But so far, you know, Mr. Judat mentioned he's a genius. To me, my judgment after what I've heard from you, he's an idiot. But country that back him, he has been insulting to so many religions, Hindu, Christian, white, and so on. Now, for them to back him, back the book, what would you call those people who support him to let the books go on? Me, as a Muslim, I say he should be banned from writing because no, 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 no. he has I, caused... The thing is now, you educate the people, the people in power, I said, they will do the rest. If you had shown to Maggie what he says about Maggie, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. You didn't tell the people, he said, look how he's abusing our queen. Did you? Anybody did it? Did anybody go and tell the people, he said, look what he's doing to our queen? They are, to they are tolerant in this country. This is the problem. I mean, what? They are tolerant. They can accept, like we say, the Iron Lady. There he isn't a, a Britisher you can go and tell him that he's a son of a you go and tell him and see how tolerant he is to you. <laughs> Would you identify yourself, please, and ask your question? Asalaamu Alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Sheikh Didat. Like all Muslims, I'm incensed by what Rushdie has written, and I feel I must protest. According to what you said during your marvelous lecture, to the Quran, we cannot nickname people or mimic, is that right? Then how, how would I feel when I read your book on the first line refer to Satanic Salman and the picture with the horns and the hat? Is that against Quran or not? Could you please clarify that point for me? Thank you. Thank you. Well, let me say, look, what he did to me. See, if I saw you, Anybody will justify you swearing back. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. If I swear you, you swear me. You swear me, I swear you. And people will say, well, you know, you just can't help. That guy did it to me. What he did to me, my natural reaction, I'm not perfect by God. By far from perfect. I'm, I'm. Could we have quiet, please? Excuse me, you had your chance. If, if you would like to ask a question, please go to the back of the queue. Would you please be quiet? You had your chance to ask three questions. Now, you, why don't you line up? Why are you sitting there like a dead duck? You know? Why don't you line up there? You get your turn. You. Line up. Take your turn. Then we know who you are, what you're talking about. See, shouting from there. Now he's discussing, he's discussing strategy. How? Oh. <laughs> Look, my son. I am like anybody else, like you, like anybody else. I'm no saint. And I'm not perfect. I'm telling you, this is what Islam teaches. I, you, everybody, you must try to the best of our ability to live by it. Let's say to a degree, I have fallen short of that requirement. I have done it. I have done it. Good man. Thank you. Next. The next questioner, please. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muslim Jafar Kaku. Can I first of all thank you on everybody's behalf for presenting such a different way to what Islam, satanic verses has, is actually saying. The second thing I wanted to say was, can you 
make sure or do some effort in, in helping us to give this book to each and every household in Britain as well as in America or in Western countries. We will try, inshallah, but we need your support. Can you make sure in helping us? If you can, by video as well. Uh, we are publishing 100,000 in Britain for free distribution and another 100,000 in America for free distribution. I would like to see a million copies here and a million copies there. But now we, want, we are appealing, I'm appealing to you that don't kill the goose that lays the golden egg. You see, don't kill us. What you do is, how much does this book cost each? Roughly 15 pence? Right. This costs 15 pence. Buy 10, buy 100 at 15 pence each so you don't kill us. And you give them out on your behalf. You know, this is what you ought to do. <laughs> so, that way you'll be helping us immensely. Because now I'm interested in publishing the 100,000 under, under print. But then I said, look, I want a million. Look, this book should be given out in the streets, in all the cities. Give them out freely. You know, you buy them at cost price. If you can publish them yourself cheaper, we are giving you an open order inside. We want no royalties from you. We have no copyrights. You publish it. You sell it. You distribute it free. No restrictions whatsoever. So if you want to do that, you can have that privilege as well. You can print it yourself. Maybe it'll cost you 10 pence. Yeah. Maybe it'll cost you 5 pence. Go ahead and do it. But help us that way. Spread the book. Inshallah, we'll help you. But if you can start a fund or something just to, pub to publicize this book and the videos, I'm sure you'll get a lot of response from people Inshallah. who want to donate to this cause. Inshallah. No, we don't want donation. You just buy it yourself. If you have got no time, buy 100 copies only. Okay. For how many? 15 pounds. Thanks very much. Or something, something like that. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Didat. Yes, if we could have two more questions, yeah. please. And yours, uh, well, let's say three questions, two more questioners after you. Uh, Mr. Didat, first of all, last year, uh, November, the Muslim, some Muslim scholars, Muslim ulama, did uh, contact the British government in connection with this book. So, uh, like you did in South Africa, uh, some scholars and some ulama tried to do it here, but uh, they were unsuccessful through their Democratic Party. Secondly, uh, you say, Salman Rushdie, how he fooled the West. Well, all Muslims that are here are in the West, and they are part of the West. And as you have briefed us on how he has said abusive words to, to people, yeah, is, there's a lot of people here that are non-Muslims, and it is mainly on, you never use the word why they insulted Prophet Muhammad wasallam. The abusive language that he used and the technique that he used, he did not use the word Muhammad. Can you explain to me why you never brought up that word Muhammad and this? I don't maybe you can give it to me better. I don't know. My brother, as you see, I have discovered there's a wrong policy. Your policy, our policy now is wrong. He said, you know what he called my mother? You know what you're doing? You're spreading it now. Ah. Look, the thing has spread enough, it has enough, harmed us enough. Forty Muslims have died, women have been all widowed, children orphaned, and now I'm gonna say, you know what he called my mother? You know what he called my Nabi? You know what? What the hell? I said, forget it, man. That's the thing of the past, we have paid enough price for that. Now we say, look, you, sir, what is doing to you? Forget about what happened to us. Because you crying about yourself is making the guy happy. But you must Why be a fool? You are a fool when you say, now talk about yourself because he's feeling happy. It's all right, he did it to you. Forget that. That's a thing of the past. I know how I feel, how you feel. 